hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so in this video i will be showing you guys my top thrifted items um if you know me personally or just know me by like following me on um yeah tiktok or instagram i post a lot of vintage and thrifted content um i love thrifting and i have found so many like golden nuggets basically in the thrift stores i don't know how <laughs> I just always find really good things whenever I go thrifting. If you guys want like more thrifted content, definitely comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel because I'm planning on doing more of these videos. So definitely follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading a lot more thrifted content and more like vintage and antiques. If you guys are into that stuff, definitely hit that subscribe button. So I think I'm gonna show you guys my favorite thing that I've thrifted a while ago, a few months ago. It's kind of falling apart a little bit. Um, so I have to go get it fixed, but it is a YSL. It's a vintage YSL vest and it's velvet. I think this is from the eighties or the nineties. And I guess how much I got it for. I got it for $6, $6 for YSL to like steam it. Cause it looks really crusty. Um, and yeah, this fabric, oh my god, what this is. Ugh, my dog was laying down on it and I think he got snot all over it. But I have to fix it here because the fabric is kind of like, um, it's kind of like unstitching, unraveling, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, um, I think this was sold in a boutique back then because it has like that little boutique tag in gold. Um, so yeah, this gives me like very 70s Bianca Jagger suit like fashion inspo and I love Bianca and I know that she was like YSL's muse um so I got very excited when I first got this and it's like brand new um so I got this dust bag I thrifted it as well as for the coach um it's literally on wrong but I thrifted this Fendi handbag which I don't know if it's authentic but if you follow me on Instagram you've definitely seen this bag before like multiple times um it's like a little it's not a baguette bag that's that's what i know but it's a shoulder bag for fendi um the interior and the leather is what has me like thinking it's a bootleg fendi but it has the um, the little metal tag inside which is the only thing that like kind of convinces me it's authentic but other than that it doesn't even have a serial number but the magnet looks pretty good i mean it has matching gold hardware so i don't know um I really don't know but i really like this bag you know i use it a lot and i it fits a lot of stuff in here um i carry like a bunch of hand lotions hand sanitizer masks <laughs> my keys that weigh like 50 pounds like literally this thing fits everything here and i love it it's very like versatile i'm not one person who likes very flashy designer things but i really love the monogram i think it looks really cute and since it's brown and black, I feel like it goes with everything. And I'm more of a gold person. I don't really wear silver. So yeah. Um, now this is a Chanel bag. I I know I've seen it before. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy, but I know I've seen this like once before, and I never saw it again. Um, it was online, and I think it was like fourteen hundred dollars. Um, it's a two thousand Chanel bag, and it looks like a little money bag, which I really like. The only thing I hate about it, it's that it's silver, and I hate silver. Silver is not my favorite color at all. Like, it's it's like my enemy, to be honest, because anything I see, like, that silver, I don't even want to look at it. Um, it's falling apart. That's the only thing as well. I stuffed it with a bunch of paper. Um, again, I don't know if this is authentic or not. I don't know. I've, I've seen this fat. I know this is, like, the pleather material. It's falling apart already. I don't know what person like destroyed this purse, but by opening it, they literally like teared the parts on the side. Now I have to get this repaired. Um, I've only used it once because I don't. I'm not a fan of big bags, but I've only used it once, and I filled it with a bunch of paper just so that it doesn't lose its body or like its shape. It has pockets everywhere. Um, I know this bag is supposed to be from 2004. I'm just gonna have to like go with it like to me I think it's authentic so yeah so now we're gonna go into like my favorite portion of the video which is lingerie or like undergarments um I literally do my research on underwear I don't know why but I've always I've always been obsessed with like that stuff 
Um, so, um, I thrifted quite a lot of this kind of stuff from like maybe the, er like the oldest thing that I have here is from the 1940s. Definitely looking for like more antique and vintage underwear. Yeah, more antique and vintage underwear. But yeah, um, I thrifted these bras. I think this was like probably $8. It's from the 1980s, um, 70s or 80s. And it fits me exactly like, this is better than Victoria's Secret, okay. They're, they're also like convertible bras and it's backless. So if you're wearing like a backless dress and you wanna wear it like a, with a bra, you don't wanna wear like a strapless one or whatever, can buy this and wear it. I have another one, which is a beige one. It's the same thing, same brand. It's the brand Carnival. Um, again, I found them, I think, I don't know if they were the same price or not. Only two of them are backless. I only have two backless bras, which is this one and a black one. Um, they're also convertible. Actually, this was not convertible, but they fit perfectly. Um, I can just wear this like underneath the t-shirt and I'm fine with that. The only thing is that since you're going to be backless, it has a little band on the waist and so I have really bad posture and it ends up hurting my stomach. I found this strapless bra, a bandeau bra. Um, I think it's also from the 70s or the 80s. It's like a white one. This is very comfortable. So the oldest bra that I have, it's, it's kind of like a bralette. It's from Vanity Fair and I know that this is from the 1940s. Um, it came with a tag and all, so I kept the tag. I have it stored away. Um, it's a little bigger, big for me, but I saved it either way just because it's really old and I really like like old things from the 1930s or 40s. And yeah, I really like the color of it because I really like how they used to make a lot of beige colored things back then. Um, I feel it's very neutral, very versatile and all. Like again, you can wear this under a t-shirt this is the last bra that I got, which was, this is, I know this is from the 90s. Um, it's big, but I, it still fits me pretty well. So this is from Bali. Okay. This is from Bali. It's like a high neck bra. Um, very comfortable again. Next thing, I find a lot of shapewear from like the 1950s, which is so weird. Um, I found this bodysuit. And it has this cute little bow in the front and it has like a pointy bullet bra <laughs> so i definitely think it's from the 50s because it has a bullet bra um it's kind of backless or like a v-shaped in the back it may make the illusion of a corset i'm guessing but more comfortable and it's a bodysuit and it has a little clip on the crotch area and yeah it's, again it's like a nude beige um color it's a 34C, it's called Miss Skinny Waist. Um, I tried it on, it fits me perfectly. I wear this like under a dress or something. So I like the material, it feels very strong. It feels like it's gonna stay in place and it feels like it's not very thin and flimsy and it, like, you know, it'll, it won't roll up. Then I found these little shapewear shorts. They're size medium, even though they fit me. Um, Again, they're beige. Most of the things that I have are beige. And it has this like vintage rubber, which I've never even seen before. It's like orangey, or at least it's turned orange now. I don't know if it was beige or white. But yeah, this thing feels like it has a good grip on your legs when you wear it. So yeah, I really like how shapewear used to be back then. Even though, I mean, like I don't wear shapewear myself to be honest, unless like I'm wearing a dress that's, you know, like if I bend over, I don't want to like, flash everyone and it doesn't feel like you're suffocating i found these un undergarments very cute <laughs> again they're beige again um it has this little cute bow i love how dainty and like i don't know it, it looks very feminine and dainty and i live for that stuff then i found these garters i i don't know what year this is from they're a little messed up because my stupid strapless bra like the hook got stuck on this and now it like messed it up but these are my favorite little garters. I've always loved garters, like they look so cute. Um, I put this on my little mannequin or like dress form, whatever you want to call it. And then my favorite little like lounge set that I found, even though I never wear it, I literally have never worn it. But it's from the 80s, it's uh, Victoria's Secret. And it has those, these little shorts, which I don't know what this is gonna cover. I don't wear this. <laughs> Literally, this is a size small. This does not fit me at all. This looks like a size large on me. 
um, but it comes with this um, top, which I've seen people sell in Depop. I have the black one. People have it in like the rose gold or like the light color, I think it is, or the blush. I'm not, I don't remember well, but I know that Victoria's Secret made like three other colors. Okay, so this is probably the most irrelevant thing that I'm going to be showing you guys, but I found this on my recent Goodwill trip, which is a Wilson hammer, hammer system tennis racket, and it comes with a case. So it's literally brand new. I haven't cleaned this racket yet. Um, I'm trying to get myself into playing tennis. So I really love like tennis fashion and all that kind of stuff. I'm always looking up Pinterest photos of like vintage or antique tennis outfits and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I know that that was an exercise that celebrities would do back then. Um, a lot of celebrities still do it. Uh, and yeah, so I found this. I'm not sure what it's made out of. I know that a lot of them used to be aluminum, at least the ones from like the 1970s and 80s. I have a few of those as well. Um, I don't know. I literally have no idea what this is. The case is not torn at all. And I love the colors. Like, it's so cute. It's like a teal and like an aqua. And it's also like a green. And I want to use this so badly, but the summer's over. So I'm... If I go somewhere like warm for the holidays or something, I'll probably bring this and play tennis somewhere. So I found this Betsy Johnson um, Intimates robe and it's so cute. Like I love it. I It's not vintage, I think, but it's um, a pink robe. It's kind of like terry cloth, which I love terry cloth. It's so comfortable. I wear this over my pajamas or just to get out of the shower. I don't like to get it wet just because I don't want to like get it ruined over time. Um, it has pockets in the front. I think I think it only has one pocket. Oh no, never mind. It has two. It has two pockets. So it's like a vibrant pink, um, which I'm not a fan of like vibrant colors. But this really caught my attention when I found it. I think this was like seven dollars. So this item was my first designer thrift find. Um, I was so happy when I found this. This was unexpected, um, and also it was like twenty four dollars. I think. It was not expensive. Um, it's a Christian Dior white silk pajama set. I know this is from like the 80s. I don't know what old lady donated this to the thrift store, but thank you. It's now in my closet and it's now being used by me like almost every week. Yeah, it has this elastic. It's very comfortable. It's a little big on me, but I really like big pajamas on me because it feels really comfortable. And then it feels like I'm wearing a blanket, so I don't need a blanket when I'm sleeping. But yeah, I really love pajamas. Like having cute pajamas is the best thing in the world. It's the best feeling in the world. Like after you shower and you put lotion on and then you just put your like nice cute pajamas on. Then these are my favorite pants ever, literally in the entire world. I use the crap out of these pants. They're vintage. I'm sorry I keep saying vintage, but like seriously, like all mostly all of the things in my room are old. So I found these Ralph Lauren uh, velvet pants. I think these are from the 90s. I wanna say the label's falling off, so I'm gonna have to sew it back on. Um, but this is a size, a size 10. It's a little big on me, but I still wear it, and I just like tuck all my shirts in. And yeah, it's black velvet. I love these pants. They literally go with anything. I wear them with my Doc Martens. I wear them with like sweater vest. I wear them with like turtlenecks, um, cute jackets and all that very soft they're very thick um so i'm definitely like never cold with these pants on ralph lauren definitely makes like the best pants ever like jeans my aunt thrifted me a pair of jeans those are so nice except they don't fit me at all so i have to tie them like in the waist and people think that they fit me perfectly but they're literally like triple my size <laughs> but they look really cute on when it's tied and i'm not i'm not and i'm wearing like a jacket so that it covers the back um, but yeah, they're very cute. I love Ralph Lauren pants So everyone went crazy over this thing that I thrifted um, it's from 1988, so I know the exact year it was released um, It was five years after the movie released. So I got this Scarface Varsity jacket. It's ginormous, but I will wear it. Yeah, this was pretty awesome. I had my eye on it for a while and thank god i was able to get it and no one bought it because oh my god like i know everyone goes crazy over like old movies especially from the 80s and i love the 80s like literally that's my vibe but yeah um thank god i have it in my hands now 
Um, my favorite, one of my favorite things right now that I have in my closet. I just keep it safe away from everything so that you know it doesn't get messed up. Here are the last things that I have um, to show you guys. I have this little vintage um, paint, hand painted uh, purse. Um, the lock is broken, so it like opens up. But it has Venice drawn on it, and it's so beautiful. I really loved it when I saw it. I haven't used it at all because the lock is like um, broken. It's one of those difficult kind of locks that um, not many purses have. And inside, um, I put a few things that I, I'm, I'm going to show you guys, obviously. This bag is from Miami. It's the brand Stylecraft. Um, so one of the things that I have is the makeup compact that I found um, thrifting. I think it's a 1950s long comb art deco um little mini makeup compact so yeah it has it still has the original powder sorry my dog's making a lot of noise he just won't stop taking himself and then i have this little brooch that says hello and it has a little telephone i think this is adorable and then i have these victorian little um brushes as well i think these are, i think these are like 14 karat filled i'm not exactly sure but I think this is also cell celluloid plastic, which makes film, I think. Those film cart cart cartridges. I don't even know how to say that word. I have a lot more, but I just wanted to show you guys like the favorite ones that I have at the moment. Like my most favorite ones. They're all tiny and they're all like necklace pendants as well. So if you don't want to use it on like your clothes, you can wear it as a necklace. I feel like if you're wearing like a very boring outfit, you could just spice it up with like one of these things. Then I have vintage earrings. They're all clip-ons. Um, I hate having pierced ears for some reason, but um, yeah, ever since I found out that like back then a lot of people wouldn't pierce their ears, I started looking for um, clip-on earrings. And okay, why? Okay, so these are like uh, citrine and green little clip-on earrings, and I bought the little um, gel cushions on Amazon just because they hurt so bad when you put them on i cannot like tolerate this stuff for like over half an hour otherwise my ears feel like they're coming off i have these other ones that i thrifted i think i thrifted them a while ago i haven't thrifted any more jewelry lately um maybe like five months ago already since i've been thrifting jewelry i've barely been thrifting um these pearl ones are like one of the first uh, clip-on earrings that I thrifted which reminded me of Rita Hayworth in The Lady of Shanghai And then the last things that I will be showing you guys are these clip-on well, they're screw-on earrings now These are different, but they're very fancy. Um, I haven't worn them yet either I definitely want to wear them with like a black dress just for it to look elegant and all that It's got teardrop style. So yeah So yeah, you guys that is everything in my top thrift finds um, everything that I really had like just, I'm so excited that I thrifted. Um, literally, I have so much stuff, but this is like the most stuff. These are like the most that really stand out of all the things that I really thrifted. Um, if you guys want more thrifted videos, definitely comment down below because I'm willing to do that. Um, I love thrifting. It's one of my, again, it's one of my favorite hobbies. And um, although I haven't been doing it the longest time, maybe like less than a year, but I have found so many good things. So I hope you guys subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, follow me on TikTok and Instagram, and I will catch you guys in my next video.